If you're working with a Git repository in VS Code, sometimes you might accidentally check in a change that has some problems. For example, maybe the commit message isn't complete, or maybe you've made a simple misspelling in one of the changes. When that happens, rather than making a new commit, you can actually use one of Git's features, which are amending previous commits, and you can do this all directly within the VS Code UI. On the command line, this would be the dash dash um, git commit um, dash dash amend command line option, but you don't actually have to use the command line for this. So here, for example, I've checked in a change that um, goes and makes a, a simple fix here, uh, but it's introduced this error, um, so this, this misspelling. So first off, let's fix this. So I'm going to change this to file path, and that was using F2 just to rename the variable and all, instant, uh, all references to it. Now I'm going to open up the normal git source control view here, and I'm going to stage the change that makes the fix. But rather than checking this in directly, which would go and create a new commit, I'm going to go to this uh, three dot drop down here and actually go and say git commit staged amend. And what is, this is going to do is that instead of creating a new commit, it is going to add this change to the previous commit. So let's do that. And at this point, I could also go and fix um, any messages that were in, uh, or I could go and fix my commit message as well. So let's say I had this uh, number wrong. I actually wanted that to be changed. So I'm going to go and commit that. Now it's gone and actually check that in. And again, the big difference here, if I actually go into the git command line, the big difference here is that rather than creating a new commit, this actually amended the previous commit. So let's say git log here to just show all the previous changes. You'll see that there's only this one previous commit that is different from where uh, master is actually synced to. Um, so it didn't actually add a new commit. It just made a change to this previous, uh, previous one and updated the commit message properly and also updated the commit content.